albino cobra snake is on the loose. Up in Thousand Oaks. Snarl. Where did it go and where did it come from? A highly venomous albino cobra has a neighborhood on edge tonight and a dog nursing a bandaged neck. Good evening, everybody. I'm Paul And I'm Pat Harvey. Animal control and wildlife experts will be back in Thousand Oaks in the morning to hunt for the cobra that's loose in a residential neighborhood. It was last seen slithering across the 1300 block of Rancho Lane. CBS 2's Elsa Ramon is live in Thousand Oaks with the very latest, Elsa. Well, it attacked the dog that lives in this house right here behind me. The dog is doing just fine tonight, but the people who live here are not. This cobra has been on the loose since at least Monday, and people don't know where it came from or where it is. L.A. County Animal Care and Control poked around the neighborhood into the evening and passed out flyers warning people who live here to be careful and keep an eye out for the albino monocle cobra still slithering the neighborhood streets after attacking Norma Stoll's daughter's dog, Tico. It was a terrifying experience for them. But it's going to hang around in the neighborhood because of the drought. We have the rodents in the water. Nothing's leaving the neighborhood. Everything's coming in. He's rattling for us. Bo Slypitch is a snake expert. He spent 30 years corralling rattlesnakes from the yards of frightened families. He's often called upon by animal care and control for help. Slypitch says this cobra can hide in trees, small openings, and in bushes, basically anywhere. And it knows it's being hunted. They'll defend themselves. They don't want to have anything to do with us. But if we scare it, startle it, uh, step on it, uh, yes, it will bite us. Say you find it, what do you do? But tonight, as neighbors ask for advice on what to do, this slippery escapee gets to spend another night free. Animal Care and Control will be back out here again in the neighborhood tomorrow. In the meantime, it says keep your pets indoors, be vigilant, and if you see the cobra, call 911. Reporting live at Thousand Oaks, Elsa Ramon, CBS 2 News. Elsa, thanks. Something's on the loose. Something exotic is on the loose. <laughs> well, the Thousand Oaks, there's an exotic pet on the loose. And it's in the form of a, oh, and she's a oh, and she's a beauty. My twin brother, he was dating this chick. And uh, she went to uh, Nam to visit her family. And the thing was is that, uh, like I was saying back in the day, my twin brother dated this chick. <coughs> and she had family in Nam. And what she did is she brought back this bottle. And this bottle she had a dead cobra snake inside of the damn bottle. But the eyes was like looking directly at you. Like it was looking like this. It was like, let me move this other way. It was looking like this. I don't know. If you guys can see, well yeah. It was looking directly like this. You know what I mean? just like that, looking at you. So I made a joke one time, I said, you know it'd be some funny shit, somebody you don't like? It's if you actually had that bottle and you put it inside somebody's cupboard or the cabinet. <laughs> and so they open their mouth full up, they'd be like, <laughs> They said the snake had already bit a dog. And supposedly the dog lived. So I know the owner's happy. Especially with you white folks. I'm not trying to make this a race issue, but a lot of you guys love your fucking pets. You guys will do anything for your dog.
You guys would do anything for your fucking pets. So I wonder what this outcome is going to turn out to be. Is animal control going to catch this exotic thing? They say she glows at night time too. So people out in the Thousand Oaks, be careful. Be extremely careful. Feel free to sub. And you guys tell me what you guys think about this uh, pretty pet that's on the loose. Not all.